What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Budget Tech, a show brought to you by Budget Gamers for Budget Gamers. And speaking of Budget Tech, let's celebrate my first year of YouTube. <music> guys, thank you so much for the support over the last year, I do really appreciate it. Everyone has been great, we're on 1,374 subscribers with 80 videos and probably a thousand more to come, so stay tuned. Now on today's episode, I'm going to repair, or try at least, and repair this GTX 1060. Now the reason for that is because this is a budget show, I'm trying to give people money saving tips and what's more budget than fixing your old broken hardware and to be honest a 1060 6 gigabyte is still a fantastic card and this pallet series is of course a looker of a card. I simply love this series. I used to own a GTX 1080 in this series but it was the triple fan. Still a fantastic card. Well, I think it was the triple fan. It was a uh, super jet stream I believe. I might be wrong. I'll do a couple of old tricks to start off with, you know, putting it in the oven. Well, of course, first stripping it, cleaning all the components, putting it in the oven, baking it at 180 degrees, preheated for 10 minutes, looking at all the ICs, looking at all the capacitors. I've got an old graphics card here that I'm going to salvage to repair this one. So this is a GTX 460. Even if it fails, I'm still going to post this video for you guys so you can see my process and obviously step by step, how am I going to do this? I might even do some sped up version of the video when I'm doing some soldering because that can become a bit tedious. But yeah, let me keep my mouth shut. Let's dig in. Please remember, if you haven't done so already, to hit that subscribe button, like, and hit my ding dong to stay up to date with my future videos. Disassembling time. Turn around the card, remove a couple of back screws, nothing too major. You want to remove the heat sink after that and then it's connected with two fan cables. We want to remove the back plate that's holding the CPU actual cooler, remove that. Use a bit of toilet paper and an old toothbrush just to clean off all the points. We don't want anything to short circuit in case there is a short circuit. As you can see, just not pressing too hard, just cleaning, give it an overall clean. Removing the four screws that's holding the back plate and then taking off the back plate, cleaning that a bit and making sure the back plate is also clean and there's no short points. What you want to do is you want to wrap your graphics card as properly as what you can in some tin foil. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees and then let it sit for 10 minutes. This is always the first step for me when it comes to repairing old GPUs and so far it's been proven successful. I think I've only lost one graphics card to date. By doing this it worked for a week and then it died. <laughs> I'm removing the tin foil here. It's very hot so just be careful. It's tilting on its side and just letting it sit to cool. Reassembling time. First we'll put on the back plate. That's just adding the four screws back and then the one screw that's in the far left corner that my fat fingers just won't fit so I need help from a pair of pliers. Now I'm cleaning the fans, just giving it an overall clean uh, as it had a lot of dust, putting on some new thermal paste and just making sure it spreads all across the die. Adding the back plate back again, I just wanted to make sure everything was tight and fit, so I re-added the back plate and then added the four screws. Pushing in back the two fans and with the heatsink and then putting back the back plate screws. Great success! One problem though, the RGB on the pallet doesn't work anymore, however I did manage to get a screen. As you can see from here, I'm moving my mouse and it seems pretty responsive. I'm sorry I had to hold the camera with one hand. So there you go guys, freaking fantastic. As you can see the PC is online, it's working, how efficiently it's working I do not know. I still need to install the drivers as there's only currently Windows drivers on. I still need to run a couple of benchmarks. Uh, I'll maybe run something like a stress test that loops 20 times through. And yeah, and then I'll upload that for you guys to see. I might do a short in this coming week, or I might do a second part or episode next week, but however the results will get posted. I'm leaning more into a short. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking the shorts nowadays. So maybe just do a quick one minute video of the benchmarks and how it runs. However, I'm pretty sure the owner of this card would be equally stoked as what I am. This is freaking fantastic news. So at this moment, this currently is an easy fix. I didn't have to do anything drastic. 
I also thought to myself before I would start removing capacitors, um, maybe the VRMs, even though I don't have replacement VRMs for this car, I might just give it a try. And it looks like after the oven trick, it solved this problem. Guys, if you have not done so already, please remember to like and subscribe. This really, truly will help me make new content for you guys in the future and of course supporting the channel. And of course, the channel is one year old today, like I've mentioned in the beginning. I'm very proud. I honestly didn't think I would come this far. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And I will bring you guys the benchmarks very soon. So thanks for watching. And I shall see you soon.